Oh, live is good, is it not? Yeah, that's a great transition to our team now from Cancer Family Care. Just coming up next week, they're going to celebrate some unsung heroes, as we call them in our community. So we thought we'd bring them on board to tell us about one of those heroes. His name is John Bach. And Jill Settlemiller is the executive director of Cancer Family Care. Tell us what that is. Uh, Cancer Family Care is a nonprofit organization that provides psychosocial counseling, um, the mental health piece for cancer patients, for caregivers, um, for those who are dealing with cancer. I have more than once had to refer people to her, and she's just a good heart. She will reach out to them. You know, I always feel so special. I'm sending you to the director. <laughs> <laughs> and she just treats them like a family member. We so appreciate what you do. And I know you're here to celebrate this gentleman. And yes. tell me a little bit about you and how you became, I guess, you know, into that club you didn't really want to be in. Yeah, that's true. Um, so. Back in the summer, my wife was diagnosed with uh, triple negative breast cancer. Um, kind of a shock. We were in our 25th uh, anniversary of marriage, planning the trip for the fall, and kind of had our feet swept out from under us. And uh, for the last several months, we've kind of gone through that journey and um, was very humbled to be um, recognized as an unsung hero by the Cancer Family Care. and. Uh, especially by my wife, who is really the true hero. Uh, so very glad to be here and to be a part of it. I think when you hear those three words, you have cancer, your whole world turns upside down. We have a picture of your wife I just want to put up so you can tell us a little bit about her. May I ask how she is doing now? Julie is doing wonderfully now. Uh, back in January, we got great news after her scans. Uh, she did a full regimen of uh, chemotherapy with the wonderful team at uh, UC Health's breast cancer team. And uh, she did have to have a double mastectomy. And after all of the testing, they declared that she was cancer free in February. So we're celebrating that and uh, just so thankful. You should be, praise God. It's wonderful to hear that. So that said, you're honoring him as a caregiver, but I heard you did so much more. You have a blog, you did all those things. You really were trying to raise awareness of that. Is that kind of the goal of recognizing some of this, Jill? It is. Um, you know, at our Unsung Hero event, which you know you know very well about, um, we honor our oncology professionals who, who tend to get some recognition um, just in what they do. But we also honor cancer patients, and we honor the caregivers as well. And the majority of our caregivers are being nominated by the patients that they cared for. And so it's just a way for cancer patients to be able to say thank you back and, and really recognize the role that caregivers play in a cancer journey. Well, we have a little video of that dinner. And while we're playing that, I'm gonna just move your mic a little bit. I can hear it just rustling a little bit. There we go. Um, so at this dinner, I know you kind of bring people forward and you get a chance to sort of just be acknowledging that, but what's the real goal? The real goal really is um, to just show how the entire cancer community has to come together to make a difference. It's to honor those, but it's also to get the word out about cancer family care services. Um, I was telling John earlier that there are a lot of folks who are recognized who don't know anything about cancer family care, but because someone took the time to write that nomination form, they learn about our services and they utilize our services. And we have a little bit of information. I know that's coming up and it's gonna be uh, back at the Hilton Netherland Plaza, it correct? Is. Yeah. So tell me, as we share so people can come cheer you on, um, this is one of those honors that's both humbling and joyful at the same time, is it not? It truly is, yes. Um, you know, the journey through cancer with my wife, um, you know, I would never have done anything differently. You just don't think about it. I would uh, watch other patients who are in the chemo suite who are there without someone to help, and I can't imagine how difficult that would be. So this, quite honestly, just, just came very um, natural to be there for her, best I could. And I would just also say that um, cancer family care has made a real difference. Um, for my wife, she's uh, been able to take advantage of some of their therapy services and just kind of get over some of the trauma of just being um, diagnosed with cancer and then just going through all of the difficulties that come with that. So we're very grateful. 
Well, we are grateful too. We want to make sure that if you need any of the services from Cancer Family Care, you know you can find them at what's happening in health.com. And if you'd like to support them, they exist totally on donations and you know a little bit of United Way funding and whatnot, but they really need your help. Jill, thanks for being here today. Thank We're you. gonna see you out there. I have the privilege of giving back some of those awards for some of the people who are caregivers this year. So I think I get to call your name. I'm excited. Wonderful. Yeah, it's May 3rd coming up, and we welcome any of you that'd like to attend. Thanks for being here today.